So, uh, day two. Chad, I'm, I'm worried that I might have caught the bug again. I was watching Ray's runs of when this just came out, and I I don't know, man. Um, so first thing, for those of you that are, are new to this game, like last night I did a little bit of explanation, but uh, I just like figured that everybody knew this game inside out. But um, first thing as you can see, the characters all have different stats, unlike let's say Gungeon, where it's just a different loadout. They actually have different stats, so like Isaac starts with three hearts, and um, he has an item where you can re-roll items, whereas like let's say Judas has one heart, but he has more damage and things like that. So let's just do, let's do an Isaac run. I don't remember all the icons, like, the, the ones that are covered in red means I did it on hard. I don't remember what they all signify. But basically, um, this game, like, you know how Gungeon you have the five floors, the five chambers and it always ends, ends with the high dragon in this game you have two floors that'll be like basement or burning basement and then two of the caves or the or uh this is just the caves and then two there like the depths or necropolis and then the sixth one is always mom so mom is like the dragon that's always like a always the final boss and technically if you beat uh mom it's like beating the dragon, you beat the game. And then in time, I don't remember how the unlock requirements, but in time, you now unlock the womb or utero, and then you fight mom's heart. And then it, if you kill mom's heart something like 11 times, it's now it lives. And then after that, there's more unlock requirements, and that's how you get like the cathedral in the dark room that we had yesterday. The blue baby is actually Isaac. I don't remember the lore. I think... I think it's that Isaac hung himself in the basement, but I don't remember if it's that mom killed him. But the blue baby is dead Isaac. And then there's a character called the Lost, who's a motherfucker. They made him better. But, dude, just unlocking him took me like seven hours. The Lost. This is the ghost of Isaac, I believe. I heard another that he trapped himself in the chest and suffocated. Okay. Where does the lamb come into play? The lamb was the boss, the the boss of the dark room, which is the. So you could go the light side. Well, look, it's like a cross, but uh, uh, upside down cross. That's funny. Um, so yeah. Oh wait, do you not have the shield anymore? You don't even have the keeper unlock. I told you, I hate greed mode. Don't you need to drop like a thousand coins? It's probably worse than the lost. Yeah, because money is this thing, right? I thought that the lost starts with the holy mantle now. Did they add that in Afterbirth and then take it out in Afterbirth, Afterbirth Plus? Also, what's up, BJ? You have to unlock it. I have the Holy Mantle unlocked. I think they made the loss much easier to unlock in later DLCs. Did they? By donating to the Greed Machine. Fuck, dude. Really? So in order to unlock uh, the Lost, it's a four-step process. I think you have to keep... I think you have to... The right way to do it is you get... It's like a lost page. And then you kill yourself in a sacrifice room and it gives you like a hint or something. I don't remember. Anyways, I, I think it's four runs and you could do the first three seated. And you have to win. And it's like... You have to beat the game as Isaac, and then you have to beat it as Azazel or something. But I remember it's the fourth one. It might have to be Azazel, but the fourth one you have to do it blind. It's some, anyways. You just have to die with the missing poster in the sack room, and that's it. Okay. It used to be a specific thing, so you could do like three seated runs, and then the fourth one had to be random. But you basically had to win four runs in a row, and if you die at any point, you got to start from scratch. So I remember I, I did it all in one shot. It took me like seven hours. And I unlocked him, and he dies in one hit. And now uh, I'd heard that he had the Holy Mantle, which gave you one... One defense per room. And then you died in one hit. But now it looks like you have to unlock it by playing Greed Mode. 
Um, and then once I unlock a few things, I'll show you. For those of you that are like new to the game, but basically, on the top left, that's like my active item. So I have to actually like press the trigger to use it. Fuck, fuck the lost. <clears throat> Isaac is Bible thump. Yeah, man. I thought I was disappointed in stuff before. But this is a new one yet, Kaiser. Come on, bravo. Came over, man. GG. Yeah, that's the game. That's my speed run. Um, so, if I remember correctly, by the way, so this blue baby is a pain in the ass to unlock. I think the base game stops at The Lost. And then Afterbirth added Lilith. And Afterbirth Plus added Apollyon. Which I think I need to beat the Void to unlock. And the Void is a new area that I'm going to try to get tonight. Um, I remember Lilith, you have to beat Greed Mode with Azazel, I think. Azazel is also very different, I'll show you. She flies, and she shoots like this. So, again, for the people that are new, on the top right, you can see the map. Bottom right, you have your cars or your pills. They obviously all have different effects. Each floor has one of these, an item room. So it's always a, an actual item. But on the first floor, it's free. Every floor after that, you need to use a key to, to get it. Every now and then you'll get an XL room, which has two, it, they're twice as big, but they have two item rooms. Um, and then Azazel's like super good when you're starting off because she's kind of OP in some ways. Ooh, damage up. All these like stats and shit before you couldn't like just display them on the screen you'd have to like pause the game and look if you wanted to know um and then basically th okay now that we have something of everything the top left now i don't have one but that's your active item where you have to like press it think think gungeon like reload stone or like um elder blank where it recharges over time and you have to like actively use it whereas the bottom left is like a passive thing and if you hold right trigger, you can drop cards, pills, and trinkets. Besides the tick that I got fucked with last night when I had cancer. the be One of the best trinkets in the game. This tick you're just stuck with. But, um, dude, this game's got so much. This game, I think now with Afterbirth Plus, has like over 600. Over 600 items. And yeah, the music in this game is fantastic. This game is way, way bigger and more um, in-depth than Gungeon. It's also a hell of a lot darker, as you can see. It's all like biblical themes, so that's why you all ha you have, you know, all these characters that you have. But, um, dude, it's so good. Polion is beating Mega Satan, right? And I've beaten Mega Satan, but I did in the base game, so it didn't count. Focus, focus the great Charlie. What? 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 His conceded this year and finally get to my group costume dream of Alice in Wonderland theme. I just saw Hocus Pocus. Did I tell you that? Uh, is it that movie with the the witch w with the witches of? Yeah, I think it's that. I think it's that movie. Apparently, my dad's cousin like directed it or some shit. Um. Okay. So these these guys, the swords with the skull. They're challenge rooms, so you gotta survive like three waves of enemies. And, um. Then you'll get like a reward of some kind. Then there's the rooms where you get damage going in, they got like spikes around them. And those have like a chance at good shit, but sometimes not, most likely not. This is pretty much only worth it if you got like a lot of health to spare. What else? There's also rooms where they're just like a, literally just a big dice and it'll re-roll your shit. Pretty much only good if you got a really bad build. Uh, what else? And then there's a sacrifice room where uh, like Azazel can fly over spikes. But in the sacrifice room you can't and basically you sacrifice health at the chance of some drops. And now apparently you can also get a chance of fighting angels, which give you the keys, key parts to fight Mega Satan, and all this. Like they've obviously added a lot. And man, 
All right, so use a key to get anti-gravity, anti-gravity tears and tears up. Oh no. That's so bad with the Zazel. All right, peace, bitch. Runs fucked, yep. Here, let me show you guys greed mode. So hard, like I said, if I remember correctly, it's not as generous with drops and there's more champion enemies. So some move faster, some have more health, and some d do more damage, I think, is it? I think? Did I just do hard instead of greed? I sure did. Fuck it, let's do it. Let's see how long I last. Just kidding. Let's do a greed mode run. Fucking, I hate it. I don't remember if I could have gotten something... Before starting? Probably. Hard mode ain't even hard. I mean, it is when you're me. It wasn't hard when I played this all the time. So, as you can see, there's a lot more money in this. Um, but it's basically instead of doing floors, you do waves. The thing is, though, you have to spend all your money on health and items. And then, if you make it to the end, and you fight Greed, or Mega Greed, whatever his name is, when he hurts you, you drop your, your, your money. And then, now that you've spent a whole run spending money on items, and losing money from damage, you gotta donate fucking money to the Greed Machine, to unlock the Keeper, and so on. So fucking stupid, dude. Also, uh, as you can see, if you don't kill them in time, uh, it just starts the next wave. So I probably won't even make it past the first wave. Can you- do you start with like a, an item? Like, did I just start this in a really dumb way? Hold up, can I restart it? Can't. See, so yeah, like, there's a million things that I don't remember. Oh my god. Obviously, and then now that like, I haven't played in so long, the game has at least doubled in size, so like, there's so much that I just don't know what the hell it is. So yeah, expect a lot of rips. Yeah, we're gonna die literally on the first floor. Fuck my ass. I am actually terrible at this game now. Yikes, dude. Holding both sticks to reset, really? Lies. The wafer? The fuck is that? Does this, like, reset the store? What is this? Okay. Oh, really? There's one of these here? That's what it is on Switch for normal mode? Interesting. Interesting. What's up, Twinkling, by the way? I have a key, so I guess I could start with this. What the hell is this one again? Tears up. Uh, and that's the exit. So one thing, too, I forgot to mention. For those of you that saw this game, if it was your first time yesterday, you saw that, like, I killed Mom and then went on. If you kill Mom in under 20 minutes, you get a boss rush. Or you could do a boss rush. Where you fight bosses in pairs. Until you fight, like, basically every boss in the game. Um, then if you beat It Lives, or Mom's Heart, or whatever, in under 30 minutes, you get uh, another boss called Hush. And Hush, like the boss in this fucking mode, scales. So you can never just, like, one-shot him. Because you can actually break this game to the point where you could just like literally walk into the room, press a trigger, and just the, f the room is empty. Like Gungeon, Gungeon limits how much you can like break it. There's a thing, a, a hidden stat called Magnificence, which limits you on how like crazy your run can get. Luckily, like, luckily with um, a, uh, a farewell to arms. There's like new synergies and items that allow for more like broken runs. 
but you can't ever like get disgusting. This one you could like have it where you have these like you can break it so that you'll have a thing that duplicates items, but also have something that recharges use of the duplicator. And you could be stuck in a room, and you could like literally have the room so full of items that they're they're like jumping on top of each other because there's no room on the floor for them. Like you could absolutely just ruin this game. I've seen runs where they literally have every single item in the game. What the hell is this? A white item room? Where they have literally every single item in the game in one run. Hmm. We'll save our money. Yeah, the hat says Ritz. Ritz is uh, one of my favorite rappers. He was signed to Tech Nine Strange Music. He's always been Yellow Wolf's right hand man. Now he's uh, doing the indie thing. He has an album coming out next month. I can't wait. It's going to be his first album on his own label and stuff. But he's uh, he's unbelievable. He does a lot of that double time like blah, 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 shit. But he's also very, very lyrical and um, also very honest. Doesn't have a problem letting his guard down and shit, which is really dope. I've never seen this guy before. What the fuck is that thing? It's like a little lost that shoots a brimstone? Jesus. So these are just a one-time thing, huh? Oh, you know what? Technically, we're still in the basement. Maybe on the next floor. I looks, Isaac looks creepy when he's happy, don't we all? <clears throat> I got Opie Taylor stuck in my head for two days now. Dude, it's so good. I love Opie Taylor. Yo, his new album is tomorrow. Halloween, baby. Ghetto Cowboy. I can't fucking wait. I just hope that it's not such a letdown as Trunk Music 3 was back in, like, February. First single comes out, it's the intro. Banger. Catfish Billy 2 comes out. Banger. Rest of the album comes out. Oh... Also, hi everyone who said hi. I was just um, ignoring chat to get through my my like explanation of uh, my little crash course of this game for those who are are new to it. Like I was saying, you know, I know I'll, it's crazy because it it's crazy how long some of you guys have been watching me. Because yeah, I was like I was like, wow, it's been like four years since I really played this game, and some of you guys have been wa I don't know what this is. Death's list. Some of you have been watching me since then. But uh, yeah, I figured some of you don't know what the hell this game is all about, so... Might as well just kind of do a little, uh, a little crash crash course. Floor modifier, yeah, floor modifiers are a bitch. So you can have... I don't, what's this skull thing, chat? Is that like a champion or something? I don't know why that... Can somebody else try the command? I forgot to see if that it was uh, just eternal or if the from the item you just picked up the devil's deal. Okay, so the command is just broken. I'll have to fix that. What the hell was that? Did a key just fall? <laughs> well, let me see. I'm gonna open this. I'll drop this in chat. Um, this is kind of like a cheat sheet. There's one uh, also called Gungeon God, which is for obviously enter the Gungeon. Um, as dope because you can either just go by the look of it or uh, I could just search. Let's see, Death's List. Uh, upon entering a room, a skull appears over a random enemy's head. Killing the marked enemy will cause the skull to move to a different enemy. If all enemies in the room are cleared and in order they are marked, Isaac gains a random reward from one of the following Soul Heart, Key, Pill, bomb, nickel, plus 0 0.2 speed, 0 0.5 range, 0 0.5 tiers, plus 1 flat damage, or plus 1 luck. Killing enemies in the wrong order will end the streak and deny you any extra rewards. Added as a part of Afterbirth Plus Booster Pack number 4, based on the Steam Workshop mod created by Merlo. Huh. Interesting. Interesting. This wouldn't have happened if Nightbot didn't move to Mixer. 
god. Uh, I'll take a chance. Cool. Is that like an anus? I'm gonna re-roll it. Well, that was dumb. Pretty Hmm, mm, maybe not so dumb. Never mind. Fuck. Joe, what's up, dude? Tears down, huh? Oh, this is gonna be a disaster. I'm gonna tell you, by the way, I'm never gonna win another greed run. I, I did one with Azazel to unlock Lilith. Never played greed again, because I don't like this mode. And uh, it's just so hard, I find, too. I, j I just don't find it fun, and I find it just so impossible. Hit the shots, dude! I'm gonna die on this floor. Forgot about that. Alright, Monstro Mini. I don't know what the thing's name is, but to me, it's Monstro Mini. God damn it. God, this fucking mode sucks. Dude, I have no range, which is like entirely not practical when you're surrounded. I'd like to be able to distance myself and not get close to the 800 fucking enemies. That thing hurts me. Neat. Neat, neat, neat. Alright, well. That was cool. Let's never do that again. Um, let's see. What do we got? Oh, that's just when I stop moving, I become stone, right? Maybe not. So, uh, also... Oh, does it have a tanuki tail? That's cool. So, the, uh, the item that I have on the top left, by the way, you can see there's like six bars. That means that I have to clear six rooms. Or I guess in this case, six waves for it to recharge. But, it re-rolls everything. What the fuck is this? Data miner. Sure, let's try this out. What the fuck does this do? It's just... I like broke the room and it's random effects? What is happening? Um... What is this? Is this Gertie, but he's moving around like a girdling? What am I looking at? All those, the music's all fucked. What is this called? Data Miner? Can you die sometime this year, bro? Yeah, everything rotated 90 degrees. What, what the hell is that? Data Miner. When you use this item, it will distort all the sprites and music rotating graphics 90 degrees and translating them diagonally up left while leaving the hitbox in the same place. This can make it confusing while navigating the room. Yes. Uh, enemy hitboxes remain the same. Data Miner will randomly increase or decrease one of your stats by a small amount when used. It gives you the fruitcake effect for the room when used, which will give a random tier effect to every tier fired. 
All visual and tear effects res tear effect reset after leaving the room. Huh. Oh, is that what that rainbow shit is? It's a fruit cake. Oh. Interesting. Um. Let me guess. That's still dead. Sure is. Doesn't this reset the room? What the hell is this? Well, I'm gonna die, but, uh, you know... What is that 10 out of 10 coin? Is that to fight the boss or something? What? A, what? what? Oh, the music in this game is unfucking believable. If I'm not mistaken, at least for the base game, I know they changed to like Ridiculon or something. But I think it was like Danny B who did uh, Super Meat Boy's music. But it shouldn't surprise you that it's like unbelievable. I am so dead. I for some reason can't hit them even though they're like 17 times bigger than me. I have no range. Bitch. Shows how many waves you've done. Okay. Damn. Yeah, crew, uh, greed mode is the worst. Yeah, Outer Worlds is boring. I regret playing it. I, had, I For some reason, I enjoyed the first day, but then thinking back, I was like, yeah, it was a waste of time. Should have played the Borderlands 3 event. It, Borderlands does every single thing in Outer Worlds a, mini, a million times better. In the sense that it's like good. But you know, live and learn. I don't remember what this does. Speed up. So yeah, whatchamacallit, greed mode uh, is terrible. And uh, you have to, for at least achievements, I assume also items, and including unlocking the Keeper, which is the worst character in the game. You gotta donate 500 and 1,000 coins. To the greed machine so yeah you spend your money on items and then the boss hits you you lose money and then you still have to get to a thousand i remember at the time fuck that seraphim what the hell is this uh at the time i still like really cared about achievements and i was like 200 hours for 160 gamer score suck a dick a familiar angel which follows Isaac and fires sacred heart tears which deal 10 damage at minus 25% shot speed at a reduced fire rate. Hmm. Um. I guess let's fight the boss. Uh, wait a minute, there might be a secret room. Oh, I don't have another bomb. Could it drop some pills? It's a retro stream sub sponge. Ragman. I think I remember you. Yeah, I think I've fought him before. Okay, it's the body that I need to damage. You fucked. Okay. So, was it... You can't take red heart damage for an angel or devil room? Red heart, okay. So, also that... Whoa, I feel like the black candle is really good. Uh... Curse immunity and evil up. Yes. No curses, boo boo. So, uh, the way the hearts work, they're kind of like armor. I don't know what the yellow heart is. I don't. I, I don't remember if Tootie said last night, and I forgot. But um, basically, red hearts are normal hearts. You could just refill them. 
blue hearts, you, if you lose them, you lose them, but they're also a buffer for not taking uh, red heart damage during a boss. But, um... Oh yeah, this is a sacrifice room, so you could hurt yourself on these spikes to have chances at drops. Yellow heart gives money on destruction. How does it destroy? And how much money? So yeah, they're they're mostly good for like cushioning um, for bosses, so you don't lose red hearts, and you could get angel slash devil rooms where you get a lot of the best items. Um, apparently they're like a 50-50 chance, but uh, I have like literally 10 times more devil deals than angel. Actually, I could check right now. It, it tracks that in the stats. Random number of coins? Okay. So I've had 64 angels and 590 devils. I think they're like a 50-50 chance. I think it's also like one of those things where if you don't, if you refuse a devil deal, then you have a better chance at an angel deal. I think that thing sucked. I don't remember. Cool. Ooh, that is actually cool. Okay. I don't remember what this guy... Oh, that guy shoots two? Alright. So, what I'm gonna try to do... If I can... Is I'm gonna try to beat... It lives in under half an hour. And, uh... Try to fight Hush. And if I kill Hush... I believe now there's a boss rush after him? And, uh, if that's true... I have to beat that to unlock the void. I could be totally wrong. So what are those... Oh, I see. I have a 16% chance at a devil room, is that it? It just dropped by 84% because I lost some red heart. Okay. Interesting. And now it goes down to zero. Okay. Damage and HP up. I didn't know it did damage up. That's dope. I take a lump for the... Well... Uh, so many more mechanics coming into play in this one compared to Gungeon. It's crazy, dude. This game is so much deeper than Gungeon. Even though Gungeon is a huge game. Um, remind me when I go to the main menu to show you the item screen. You're gonna lose your mind. Also, I checked... Um, I checked... Out of curiosity how much this is on Switch. And it's $50. Because it's like, the game plus Afterbirth plus Afterbirth plus. But I was like, oof. Let's see if I get the bug again. Before considering that. But I might keep my eyes open for if ever that game goes on sale. Because this would be a good, uh, a good game for the bus and shit. I've been bringing the Switch to work sometimes and playing uh, Gungeon. Because, like, on a 15-minute break, I could knock out a floor and stuff like that. I need a new key. I wasted my key at the store. Now I need a key so I can get the item room. Okay, so the ones that are, like, speckled yellow, like, I guess the corn shit, move a little faster. Definitely seem more aggressive. Dude, it feels so, like, right to be back in this game. Oh, shit. That epic hack, though. To refresh my memory, 
I see forever just lasts for that floor, right? It does get. Fuck. You lose double deal chances just from damage in general? Wow, I did not know that. That sucks. Fuck me, really, huh? Isn't there like the goat head or something that guarantees you a devil? What the hell is this? Fishtail. Items and trinkets which generate blue flies and spiders will have double the effect, causing twice as many to spawn. Keep this. You gain some back when you complete a room. Yeah, I noticed that. I love how the hearts beat. It's especially creepy when it's a half a heart like that. I also like how this area has like a wobbly effect to it. Perfect. <laughs> fuck the dunce hat and fuck sour milk. Okay. Literally two of the worst items in the game. Both of those could have ruined a run that's not good. But, you know. Wow. That was actually gross. Let's check the store because I want a little bit of cushion before fighting this boss. Um, I uh, fuck it. Okay. Oh, was that chocolate milk? I thought it was soy milk. Room makes me feel like I was trying to close my tab at the bar way too hazy. It is soy milk. Okay. But this guy can actually swallow bombs, and as you saw, it does, like, extra damage. Get fucked. Little Chad. Shovel lets you go down a floor. So these, by the way, the devil rooms, the amount of hearts is the cost. So I, ha I have to sacrifice a red heart in order to take this item. I feel like that page is good, but I don't remember. Where's the one with my name on it? Um, here, contract from below. Doubles your pickup drops, including chests, soul hearts, and other consumables which spawn at the end of a room. Uh, yes, please. So now I have one less red heart. And I just saw that there's a heart up here. I probably shouldn't go for it if I'm trying to beat the game in under 30 minutes, but because the floors obviously get bigger and bigger, that was totally stupid. I was actually gonna play Ape Out and then I just was like, meh. Hotline Miami came to Switch and I was like, yeah, I don't care about Ape Out anymore. Fuck you. Yeah, Ape Out's on PC Game Pass. I thought it was gonna be on Xbox Game Pass, but nope. Only PC. PC Game Pass is dope though. Oh, look at my face. Show us your face! Oof, I almost ran right into that one. 
Why are my eyes all fucked up? I love it. Uh, I could get that pill. I don't know if it's worth a bomb. When I only have one. You know what? Fuck it. Did it not? There we go. That was not worth it. That was not worth it. Fuck me, dude. I'm so slow. I have no reaction speed anymore. Okay, I have, I have at least, oh, okay, I see. They, they shoot some creep, they nut out their mouth. And that's what damages you. I was wondering, like, okay, what can you do if you're not, like, right on me? I didn't see the spikes. Fuck you. Oh, man. Ciao, Twinkling, have a good one. Got the key back. Neat, neat, neat. Ooh, there's the item room. These guys are fuckers, dude. If you don't uh, have decent damage and can kill them fast. Actually, it would be nice right now if I could get the BFF item. Is that called like scapular or something? There's so much stuff in this game, it's impossible to find anything. Scapular. Once per room, you are when you are damaged down to half a heart, you gain one soul heart. Hmm. Dumb. Yeah, there's a search function, but I couldn't remember the name at first. So you see we're in the problem lie. Are you talking shit about inverted light speed? Also, when the... Oh, the coupon is appearing in the basement. When um, the price is red, it means it's half off. The fuck is this? Shot speed down, but damage up. Well, not ideal, but I should not be going exploring. No, we already got the item. Let's just keep it moving. Is there an adorable little gun called Shooty Patootie? God damn it. How dare you! What the hell is this? Polydactyly. Hold me. Arcano. Huh. What was that? What was that? Polygamy or some shit? Are we getting laid? I'm just a baby. Polydactyl, that's it. That's what I said. Or is it all the dactyl? Is the P silent? I'm done with these fucking rooms, dude. It is called all the dactyl? 
What the, what does it do? I, I could open Platinum God, but do you know by any chance? Fuck! Okay, I thought these ones explode. Holds two items at the same time like pills. Oh. Dope. Thank you. It's like two pills or two cards, shit like that. That's awesome. Very cool, gamers. Very cool. I have no damage, dude. Like, literally no damage. Unfortunately, unlike Gungeon, you can't just, like, drop items. You can only drop, um, trinkets and active items. So, like, I can't drop this shitty-ass mascara. In Gungeon, you can uh, drop anything from the map screen. It's so good. Played this game a lot when it came out. I've played Rebirth for a couple hundred hours. I have almost three hours in the game. Three hundred hours. But uh, I haven't played it really since. I didn't. I played a little bit of Afterbirth for like one day, and I hated it. And I was just like, "Yep, I'm done." <laughs> three hours, Pog. Hmm. Afterbirth is not great. I thought everybody loved it. Is Afterbirth Plus good? Because, like, so far I'm loving this, but I don't know if it's because it's been so long. Alright, this is going to kill my time. But I have two free rolls. First came out, it was bad, it got patched up. Okay. Dude, I can't imagine how much work went into this game. When you think of all this, all the stuff that's in it. Does it give me Blue Baby as a companion? Oh, it sure does. Dude, squad goals. I got 88 familiars with me, dude. Let's see if I can get a black heart. Sure. That, even better. Even better, dude. We're dead. Oh my god, look at the damage. Vagina chest having motherfucker out of here, dude. I don't remember what the code hanger does. Taking a chance. Oh, all stats up, then shuffled. I think my damage was over 10? Which is, I mean, not good, but better. Yeah, no, this run is. Oh my god, look how slow I shoot now. This is not happening. What was it? Cl just. Click, click in both sticks? Maybe on the pause menu? Nope. Alright. There's no quick restart? Really? Five years later? Here, for those who want to see just how much is in in this game. Yeah. And you still haven't found everything? I did in, in Rebirth. In Rebirth, I had to find everything and pick everything up. Platinum God was everything was um, unlocked. Real Platinum God was everything was picked up.
Huh. All right, let's try. Uh, let's try just a, a normal run. Let's try to get the void. Kind of lame they didn't add it. Yeah, just uh, just a bit. So yeah, I uh, goal for tonight is kill Hush. So beat it lives in under 30 minutes. And um, then apparently there's a boss rush after him. So I don't know. I guess they changed things. How did we keep? Do they like curve now? Like why? I feel like I'm always like going out of the way by getting hit. God, that teleport shit is really annoying. Hitbox got changed a bit. Really? It's not just me. It's like actually. Hmm. I don't know what this is, but I like my eyeballs. Holy shot. What was it called? That is the holy light. Isaac has a random chance to fire a holy tear, which when it hits an enemy will spawn a crack in the sky style light beam on the same enemy dealing damage. The beams from this item deal damage equal to 400% of your tear damage. Chance to fire a holy tear is affected by your luck stat, maxing out at a 50% chance. Ooh. Hitbox is made one pixel bigger. Well, I mean, for me, that's enough to make a world of difference. Taking a chance, baby. There's a tinted rock too. Okay. Dope. Okay, twice. Oh, you're still alive? I'm literally the worst. Um, I want to die. So why did I hear a key as soon as I walked in? Is it just it's spawning or did something happen? Because the key spawned? Okay, that's it. There's no uh, crazy shit. Good to know. That item is really good. That one, not so much. We'll come back. We'll re-roll that. What's up, Joe? How's it going? It's homing shots? It is, right? What is this again? I kind of want to re-roll it, though. Although... No, homing shots is good, especially when you suck. I'm right, man. Same old shit. <laughs> we roll soy, soy milk. God, soy milk, though. I want a bomb. Give me a bomb, please. You know what? A homing holy shot is pretty legit, I won't lie. Uh, so the, on the right, uh, sorry, on the left, 
we'll keep that. On the left, you have the coins, bombs, keys, and then speed. Uh, is it range? I think the bow is range. And then underneath that is the shot speed. There's also shot delay. It's speed, range, fire rate, shot speed, damage, luck, devil deal chance, angel deal chance. That's it. And yeah, obviously those all reset each run. And then on the right side is my items. Interesting. That's a first. Committed Suicune. Why did I... Mm, why did I... Mm, mm. Yeah, luck is a chance to drop stuff and I don't... It doesn't affect items, right? It's just higher drop chance. Well, sent is pretty okay. It's good. It's just I wanted I wanted to re-roll it because I had two re-rolls, but it's fine. Also, yeah, luck has a um, affects how often that can happen. So it caps out at fifty percent. And that light beam not only has a crazy AoE, but it does four times my shot's damage. Those pretty legit skis. What you got for me, baby? Which one is soy milk and what is that one again? I'm just pausing it to not run this, the, the clock. Soy milk is the one where, like, it looks like it's filled with, like, yellow, like, shady milk, right? Or, like, not... Not yellow, but it looks it looks almost like mayo or something. That's just called milk? Does it do anything? Do I just milk out my eyes? Mama! Be like milk. Uh, I guess I like a familiar glass of milk that follows him and spills on the floor upon taking damage upon after being spilt the milk gives you a minus two tier delay for the rest of the room fuck that uh that, actually that would be really good against bosses and stuff but I'm gonna re-roll it I I get hit by everything now Terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Please, something good. Please, please, please. I don't know what this is. Number two. Uh-oh. Oh, great. I randomly shit myself, I guess. Yep. Damn it. I had this yesterday. Yeah, because it causes butt bombs. Call me crazy, but I don't think this is... I don't think this is the run either. Speed up. Oh, Kaiser, you want me to blow your mind again? You didn't realize that Isaac was, uh, was Bible Thump? Did you notice that the pill sound is my host sound? Oh my god. Pill sound has been fucking with me for the past two days. Why? Do you need pills? Do 
You just think that uh, I'm getting hosted nonstop? So these are mini bosses. They're like the seven sins. The pet reaps dark rewards. Oh, that was the regeneration, by the way. I just got half a heart. I thought you were being raided left and right. And we all know you're not that popular. To be fair, it's the host alert, not the raid alert. The raid alert is Scorpion. Fake fan. <laughs> Boy, just this this is the run. Totally killing Hush in under 30 minutes. And before Brimstone, God, I would actually cry. <sighs> oh no, it was so good. It was going so well, man. I still got one? Hold up, what's in here? I didn't know I wanted to re-roll it. No. Fuck. I... Mm. Whoop. I wanted to re-roll it, but I came out a bit too far. Chad, I just remember that it's going to be pissing rain tomorrow. Um, And so I got to open up my closet and get my raincoat, which means that I got to take down part of the green screen to get in the closet and I'm still not down although the good the good thing is that I do need to get in there to put my shorts away so it kind of works out but I just <sighs> just such a pain in the ass um I got lucky there by the way so this this color I just have a chance to to respawn if I die like there Snow tomorrow? Ew. I keep... That fucking bomb. Yeah, it's gonna be pissing tomorrow. And, uh, yeah. Yo, listen! <laughs> There's no time like the present. Go away. I actually have to remember to put my mom's winter tires on soon. Plus one luck up. A familiar fairy that will float around the room and highlight the location of any <gasps> any secret room doors. Tinted rocks or trap doors under rocks. Upon entering a new room, if there's an undiscovered secret room or tinted rock, it will move directly to the point of interest. Otherwise, it will just randomly fly around the room. That's really cool. Really cool. Really, you guys get snow? Ugh. How are you guys getting snow before me? But, uh, no, it's definitely started to cool down here. Dude, I went to take out the garbage at work at 4 30, and it was already like super dark out. I was like, what is happening? I should have just shot the TNT instead of wasting a bomb. That was for me, so we'd have had snow since like the 20th? Gross. I'm gonna ignore the fairy. Because that's the secret room we've been in. Where are you going? Super secret room? Dude, this item is dope. Okay. Oh, 
Holy shit, that's awesome, Rowdy. Really? That hit me? Dude, 10 cases of beer. Boy. I just got a couple... A couple of uh, four packs of Grolsch on the way home. Assuming as I could carry them in a bag. And because it's going to be pissing rain the next two days, I don't feel like I'm going to get beer. So I just went tonight while it was nice out. You know what I mean? Cuba meat. Gotta meet them all. So, um, the ball of bandages and the Cuba meat are the only things where you can get more of them and they kind of like evolve. If you beat the four horsemen in one run, you can get super. You can get bandage girl or super meat boy as a familiar. And uh, they just tear shit up. What's wrong with 16 Celsius? That's like perfect. I like hoodie weather, man. That's my jam. But when it's like a million degrees, or when it's freezing, or just... Here's like one extreme or the other. The summers are way too hot and the winters are way too cold, man. Sacrifice some speed to be a chonker. That's fair, BJ. I just, I hate snow. But also keep in mind that I take the bus and I have a bad back, so it's a lot of traffic and schlepping around and then it's coming home to shovel and blow my back out. Not a fan. Not a fan. I need to see if there's like shovels that are made for fucking tall people. I have the thing where... Oh, come on. Um... The thing that's annoying when you're tall is everything is made for like normal sized people. And so you're stuck at that like little bit of a hunch. So it just hurts your back. So things like the shovel, I'm always just like tiny bit leaning so by the time I'm done I like can't fucking move. It's super bullshit. The guppy item on the first floor. Uh, again. Dog. Yo, give me guppy. Or give me death. Uh, we got the item room. And we have amnesia, so... So yeah, there's like curses in this game. I'm sure you guys have noticed. Amnesia, you, c you have no map. Um... There's Curse of Dark... What the fuck? How'd that hit me? I don't understand these hitboxes at all. I feel like they're like curving or something. These ones are, but... Um... I can't believe it. I actually can't believe it. Uh, you just like Curse of Darkness where all the rooms are a lot darker. So it's harder to see, obviously. There's one, uh, as you saw, where you teleport randomly and it's super annoying. I don't know if there's anything else off the top of my head. But they're all annoying as hell. I saw that black candle before was super dope. It's like no curses and evil up, so you get a black heart. Fuck. Get a bigger shovel, or actually, like Rowdy said, an OG German flamme. <laughs> yeah, get a flamme vef, a vef flammen. Thought you were used to having your back blown out. You, mister. Listen, you. Look, I'm a gypsy. I'm Runebi. Well.
Spiders are also the worst fucking enemy in this game. Because they're so unpredictable. All the enemies have like patterns and stuff, but spiders are just sporadic and... Apparently calling people gypsies isn't PC. Nothing is PC anymore, dude. You say hello to somebody and they're like, uh, excuse me? Did you just say hell to me? I'll have you know that my dad was 1 16th of a Bible and that's racist. You have to call them Romani. Oh. Stop splooging spider net and just die, dude. Feel blessed. Bless up, fam. Uh. Alright, cool. Let's stop there. We'll leave the eternal heart. I don't know what I just did. I don't know if I just did something good, but, you know. Actually, what I did there, gamers, is what I did is I reset the frame so that, um. Fuck. I got at least 35% off a hit. Now, this game is so much harder now. There's so much bullshit like this. I can't even get a shot off, dude. Literally the worst enemy in any game. Speaking of non-PC New South Park episode tonight. Dude, I haven't watched that show in so long. I should. It's all strategy. Oh! I- it is at- my- my angel thing is at 100%. So that's is that the only way to get angel deals now? Yeah, I heard this year has been really good. I haven't watched South Park since season twelve. Where they like pee in the pool? I'll do a challenge room. I ain't scared. I ain't scared. I'm not afraid anymore. Also, Lightspeed, I see you talking shit, dog. Refusing to admit that I'm the Mario Maker slash Mario Kart master of the world. I gotta stream Mario Maker again, but sober so I can maybe do something. I can't believe how terrible I was on stream. It was like, the shame was so real, dude. What's my damage? 3.5? Okay. No wonder I'm like literally not being able to kill anything. It keeps giving me like these horrible items that just are useless. I felt like that wasn't bad at all, you weren't that out of control. What, Mario? I was just incapable of doing anything. I wasn't like acting a fool or anything, but I was just like useless.
That's true. The feels, the feels were good. But it was just like, after playing it all week and 100%ing the story, I was like, dude, I can't even like do the most basic of levels. What happened? I literally played it like the day before. It was killing it. Me that angel room baby. Hundred percent chance, by the way. It was at a hundred percent, right? I'm not imagining things. I like these rooms. Oh my god. It actually hit me. I like those rooms where it spawns uh, an item in the middle of the room that you can only get if you're flying. I think I'm back on this on the fuck this game train. It was a 100% chance to spawn an angel deal if the 36% of getting a deal at all worked. Uh... What's up, Maka? How you doing, man? Oh, fuck. Ah, shit. I don't want this garbage. Mr. Me has appeared. Buzzed here. Maka was cracking, dude. Yo, Chad, if you guys didn't see Maka's playthrough of COD on Veteran, it was really good the other day. I believe he uploaded it to his YouTube channel. He made like a Twitch highlight and uploaded four hours and four minutes of just MLG goodness, my friends. Can I? How it up? How it up? Not visiting any other internet pages till Shiz does sub 4 hour Call of Duty veteran run. Dude, I'll fucking do it, man. I'll fucking do it, gamers. keys anymore. Uh oh. This is a terrible run. Like actually terrible. That's actually a good question with crossplay and stuff. Except for the fact that no, it doesn't work like that, you idiot. This isn't like PlayStation light speed where you can just stack the shit on PS Vita and PS whatever. Okay. Oh shit. Oh, and I have no bombs, so I have to do it. Let's see what item we got. I almost ran into the spikes and I would have died. Oh, that thing was really good, wasn't it? Fuck it, going for it. Right, it does a full heart. <laughs> the scythe!
Let's let's keep restarting until we get something good. Let's get like a halo on floor one, dude. I can't believe I almost had Scythe. Scythe is so OP, dude. It's so OP. You don't understand the OPness, dude. Uh so much OPness. OPness all in your face. Oh dude, it's so 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 delicious. Also, Maka, thanks for the 31 bits. You're taking my ad rev from Twitch this month. Damn, son. 31 more cents than me. Bruh. Bruh. Oh, but thanks for the bits, man. Ugh. God damn it, Maka. So many batteries. Huh. Let's see what the item room's got for us, gamers. Maka, did you see... Do you know Macy J? She had that really banging song back in the day. Bruh, no, but, um... Macy J, what the hell was it? Darkness, I was born and raised by it. What the hell is this? Oh, cool. Oh, cool. I was born by it. Um, BCJ found a thing where I don't remember the operator names because one of them is new, but anyways, he found that like two, two characters, if you use them together can bust through, um, hard walls, or whatever. Boy, it shows that I'm a siege pro, huh? Mac, if you do the, sh uh, if you shoot the thing, uh, you put a, you put it on the wall, you do the, the, the kablamo? Basically, what you do is the wall, you, the, you, the, the, boom the wall. St st stem cells is like HP up, right? Uh, HP up and shot speed up. <sighs> Gonna get greedy. I wonder if I could get a halo or a mushroom. Pff, fucking lipstick. As if I need a dog boner in my life right now. I really look like Bane. I don't know what the bandage does. We got one more battery. I th maybe even two. Two! Uh, uh. Oh, gamers. Oh, gamers. Why am I shooting? I can keep you his to take my ad revenue. Thanks for the one pity, homie. Yeah, way to stun on these hoes, my guy. I'm proud of you. Kaiser with that big dick energy, dude. All right, well, tears up. And I look hot to, hot, hot to trot, baby. Oh my god, the tears up for realsies. Oh. Turns out the coat hangers with babies were the solution after all. Okay. Maka, doesn't this give you flashbacks to uh, 1997 when I used to stream this all the time? Back when I was part of FaZe. I was part, part of Foz Clan. Looking for someone who's anime in the streets but anti in the sheets? Say no more, fam. I got you. Hold up, Maka. You just reminded me. Chad, I have to show you something. Last night I made a purchase. You may recall 
that a few weeks ago I tried to buy an adapter so that I could stream my iPhone and stream some Apple Arcade games. Um, and it didn't work out. So what I did was I got a refund and then with the money, last night I ordered this. <laughs> so I basically said, I, I'm just never getting pussy again. I hereby denounce that I will re remain ever, ever vir virgin it. But I got myself a, a, a Dragon Ball shirt. So, you know, might have to close the channel down because I'll be just slaying so much puss. Did I tell you there was a kid at school wearing a Naruto headband? Could you confiscate it and send it to me? Just for a Halloween stream. J but also just forever. What is this? Is that a potato peeler? Is that actually a potato peeler? What is that? Also, th this thing that I have, tractor beam. Isaac's tears now travel directly forwards following a beam of light, but will also move sideways based on your player movement. So plus 0.5 tears up, plus 5.25 range up, plus 0 .6 0 0.16 shot speed up. Plus 0 0.5 tier height. Allows for more accurate correction when firing tiers as their direction can be controlled even after they have been fired. If you switch the direction in which you are firing tiers, the beam of light and all your tiers will also be transported to the new direction? Okay. Um... Potato Peeler. When used, this item permanently removes one of your red heart containers and gives you a flat 0.2 damage up, 0.5 range up, and a cube of meat. The range increase will only last for the current room, but the cube of meat and damage up are both permanent. Only works for red hearts and has no effect when used if you only have soul slash black hearts. Has no recharge time and can be used as often as you like. It's possible to generate multiple meat boys by stacking more than four cubes of meat. What? Okay. I'm coming to, I'm coming to steal that shit, bro. And by steal it, I mean purchase it totally legally, my friend. Okay. <laughs> Did you see that uh Maka? Oh my god, do you see the little the little tank? I'm still so confused by that in Borderlands 3. So they used to call them midgets, obviously since that, since, since Borderlands 2, that's not a PC term anymore. In pre-sequel, they called them, like, little shotgunner and stuff, and I was like, okay, that makes sense. And then in, in 3, they call them tanks, and every time I see it or say it, I'm like, eh, it feels weird. I th is that good? Doesn't matter, what's this? Okay. Whoops. Dude, I want five coins, please. I want to shave two hearts off and get some damage and some cubes of meat. Uh oh, why are you pink? Okay. Oh, baby. I can't believe. Oh, my God. I can't believe that shit, but I still need monies. I have an idea. I have an idea. It's a stupid idea, but I have an idea. What does this do?
Well, now I know. So what I was gonna do is I was gonna go to the sacrifice room and try to sacrifice some health for coins to hopefully get the potato peeler. What I did instead was I just went directly to the floor and I also lost my d20 in the process. That is great. D6, I mean. I, uh... Should have checked Platinum God and I want to die. Yeah, I definitely did roofie myself. Oh yeah, okay, I need a... I need a bomb. I, uh, yep, I 100% roofied myself. And I, uh, also am mad at myself. Because I made a very, very stupid mistake by just using it. At least, at least I didn't miss the, the mushroom. Dude, I did shrooms and then I popped a pill. What a... Still in diapers, by the way. Like me on a Tuesday, drop a roofie and see where you end up. Okay. How about that? Wanna talk about it? Is this a... What is this? Ventricle Razor, short cutter. Am I just... What, why am I just prolapsing the floor? Oh, yeah? Now you're thinking with portals. Spicy. Very spicy, my friends. Very spicy, my friends. Also, we're 10 minutes in and we're still in the basement. Clap him with the holy shot. Clap him with the holy shot. That's it. That's what's up, baby. Uh, yeah, I'll take that HP up. Okay. You know what, there is a potential for this run, even if I fucked it. I can still make something happen here. Alright, so 2D. What is the deal with this game? So how does it work? Because before you beat Hush, you beat the game. But now the kids these days, they say that's not enough for me. So I read, like, yeah, you, you have to kill It Lives in under 30 minutes to fight Hush, correct? But now there's a boss rush after you kill Hush? Correct me if I'm wrong, but this is one of the best items in the game. If you beat Hush, you get the new floor. Okay. There's no boss rush after him? I read that there was a boss rush after Hush, and I was like, excuse me? He's hard enough, thank you. Look at my big brain. 200 IQ plays, by the way. Hive mind. Wasn't this like the worst thing to unlock? <laughs> the mind. Gives Isaac a full mapping effect revealing the entire floor and locations of all secret rooms. But is it the f it's the full run, right? Unlock this item by beating Satan with the lost. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was not fun. 200 IQ gamers. They predicted the memes ages ago. And they made this item. You could call it that, but it's not really. It's just a giant floor with maybe eight or so bosses they can fly it. Huh. And it's called the Void? AKA my fucking soul? <laughs> to beat a certain one to finish the run. Do I have to beat my dick? <laughs> okay, cool. I guess I'll just try to beat everybody. Yeah, the, the, the goal of this run is to, to beat the Void. Realistically, it won't happen, but you know, a man can dream. Gotta have faith, the faith, the faith, the. Uh. Uh. 
God, I wish I still had the D6. Idiot. God, this run could be so... It's going okay, but it could be going so much better. Blackheart, please. What the fuck? So the orange flames shoot at you, by the way, because obviously. Oh, I have no bombs. Ow. Okay, hold up. We can fix this. I knew I'd forget. What the hell is this thing? I don't think I've ever seen this guy. Uh. Oh. Huh. Talk about big brain plays. That was a good idea. Idea to use the barrel. Thanks, man. That brings you to the store, correct? Mm-hmm. Save myself a key. More big brain plays. Will you buy this? What is this? Chaos card. <laughs> Friends till the end. Oh, I got three uh, things. Now, before I make a fool of myself, what's the chaos card? Is that the one? Tell me this is the one-shot card. Card which can be thrown as a projectile directly in front of Isaac, instantly killing anything it hits, including most bosses. If thrown at a multi-phase boss with multiple forms such as Satan, Mega Satan, or Hush, it will only kill that particular phase of the boss. If thrown at a multi-phase boss that worked from a single health bar such as Isaac, Blue Baby, or the Lamb, it will die instantly. It will destroy rocks and poop in its path. It can also be thrown against a door to open it. Doesn't work against Mega Satan's door. In Afterbirth Plus, this card does not work on the... De delirium boss? I guess that's the new... I guess that's the new, um... Endgame boss? Delirium? But yeah, cards are a one-time use. Same as pills. So I could just one-shot the second phase of Hush. <laughs> oh my god. What is this run? Was that the bed below me? It was. The bed, like, he gives you two hearts or something? I don't remember. Or is it two soul hearts? Still pretty gnarly? Yeah. Especially because some, some cards are pretty legit. Uh, I've only had that card once. And I didn't know what it did. I threw it into a door. And Tootie was like, oh my god. And he's like, so what that card does? And I'm like, no! Because I think I was fighting. I was going for the boss that I'm fighting now. Who's arguably the hardest boss in the game, especially because he scales, like I said. What's up, Gab Trixie? So, um, yeah, you can't just, like, one-shot him. But now, I could just, like, one-shot a second phase. Uh, disgusting. I'm alright, man. Oh, no. Okay, I got more damage. Okay. And we still have decent shot speed. Okay, that's fine. I want a fucking bomb, though. So the gold poop gives you money, by the way. Um, actually, I get I should save the one bomb for the super secret room. Or no, fuck it. Give me them souls, baby. Two. Ooh, baby. Uh oh. All right, never mind. Uh oh, retracted. Uh, let's. What is this? Nose goblin. 
Are you planning to do more Halo? Uh, I don't know. Probably not anytime soon, if I do. Your tears have a random chance to become Booger Tears. Booger Tears stick to enemies and deal periodic poison damage until they die or 60 seconds pass. Each tick of poison damage is equal to your normal tear damage. Boogers have a homing effect. What was the other one? The money? It's like the wallet or something? Fuck, what was it? Uh... Damn it, what the hell was it? Uh, where are you? Trinkets, trinket, trinkets. Am I blind? Here it is. Gives you a higher chance of eternal hearts. Oh, fuck that. We'll take the booger tears. Sounds OP as hell. It really does. Oh. Feel the wrath of my boogies. Hey, Chet, how do you make a Kleenex dance? You put a little boogie into it. Uh... Oh, wow. I just looked at my health. HP up. Damage and tears up. <laughs> oh my god. I don't remember what that blade does. Oh, but that door closed behind me. I feel like the razor blade sucks. Uh, when used deals damage to Isaac in exchange for plus 1.2 damage, which lasts the current room. You better get to hush. I better. Yeah, from now on, we're just gonna rush to um, the item room and then the boss. Just to be safe. Ow. Although, I guess we could check the store as well. I, I don't want to take the random item. Fuck it. Oh, I just saw the super secret room, or whatever it's called. How did you hit me? Oh, come on, you dickhead. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god, dude. Uh, let's just see. Bob's bladder, creepy bombs. We're gonna keep this. Yeah. So addicted to the outer worlds? Glad you're enjoying it, man. Shit. I don't have any bombs. Alright, well, this is gonna be a pain in the ass to, uh. Beeline. Be hard to get to the um like straight from the item room to the boss room when I don't know where the hell I am. Oh, here's the boss. Uh okay. So I just put a teleporter at the boss. Now when I find the item room I can go back. Let's try this way. Aye. Ridiculous, dude. Ridiculous. Let's go up here.
Liam, I'm glad you're enjoying um, Outer Worlds, dude. And yeah, Rowdy, it's only um Day guys. It's like it's in the ten to thirty hour range. But it what did Day guys just do? Did it just remove my amnesia curse? Purity, it removed my curses, so now I have the map? Oh, bless up, dude. Where the hell's the item room? Oh my god, it's so far away. Mm, I should not go for it even, but let's just beeline it. Fuck. I shouldn't have done that, but I just remembered there's like a Bob transformation or something. The fuck? So would that have just brought me to the utero? What the hell is it? there's so much in this game now? Yeah, you know what? I fucked up by picking that up. I hope it doesn't get me killed. That was a really stupid move. A really stupid move, and I can't get rid of it. I am an idiot. I didn't play Monkey Ball. Nah, it's super expensive here. I wanted to play that, no way. I wanted to play that and um, and Aladdin slash Lion King, but yeah, it's just stupid overpriced here. I almost accidentally hit the card. What hit me? I don't think this matters. Yeah, uh, Monkey Ball is 55 bucks here for a 13-year-old game. And then um, Lion King and Aladdin is like 40, 40 bucks for like 25-year-old games. I was like, you know what, I'm good. Are there bonuses for no hitting a boss? Um. You have a higher chance at a devil or angel room, which have some of the best items in the game. Plus, obviously, just not losing health. Also, now at this point in the game, uh, each hit takes off a full heart rather than half. What the hell are these things? Whoa. I've never seen those. So yeah, now um, there's no more stores or item rooms, so we just beeline it to the boss. I just, air quotes, just have to, I just did an extra roll for nothing. Have to beat two floors. Um, to get to Hush. Oh, you're still alive. The smush brains. not gonna... Oh, I should've used it once. No, I shouldn't have. Let's just keep moving. Lion King, Aladdin, and Monkey Ball in the UK are 30 bucks each? Weird. Yeah, no, there's uh, 39 for the Disney games here, and then 55 for Monkey Ball. I was like, Jesus Christ, dude.
Chat, I'm not even gonna make it. Nope. I'm not even gonna make it. Not even gonna make it to Hush. Fuck. I thought they went away. Did I miss the secret room? Really? Even is my life right now. Thinking of getting Monkey Ball for Switch? That'd be dope. I just want to get it, man. I'll get it eventually. I think I'm just going to wait for them to be on sale just because I was like, yo, I want to play them, but I don't want to play them that much. And um, After Party is out, and I want to play that. And then this DLC just came out like last week and I said I wouldn't play it but now I'm just like I was I was thinking about it I was like dude it w nobody would see this shit coming fuck well wish me luck gamers cause I need it I need it so bad I basically can't get hit uh oh God, I almost have to use the Chaos card here, but I can't. How, how did that hit me? How did that hit me? How did that hit me? I moved out of the way. I think that if I got... The, I was at 25 minutes. I believe that you get like health and items and shit. And I had 10 keys, I would have been stacked. I would have been stacked. Fuck! This is the worst part. The worst part, too, is you start a run and you're so garbage. You're so weak and slow and useless and ugh. I find runs like that. Oh. Runs like that in this game are so much more disheartening than Gungeon. A run like that, to just end that abruptly, it makes me not want to continue playing. That's a big reason I stopped playing this too. I don't know what hit me there, but it was like a split second away from death and I had five minutes to spare. And I would have been, like I said, I could have got a whole bunch of shit on the Hush's floor. Alright, we'll try again. Imagine losing after winning over a hundred in a row makes you want to die for real. Yeah. <laughs> what is with the little dudes? Champion flies like go away. Well, I got a battery, so I could recharge my. D6 instead of having a six room charge. So that's dope. I can't imagine dying after a hundred game streak that. Oof. Yeah, that's gonna be terrible. Did that happen to you? Multiple times? Jesus. That's true, you have like thousands and thousands of hours in this, right? Mysterious paper. So mysterious. Current streak is 136. Mine's 137. 
So, just saying. Putting it out there. I don't want to brag, but... We're just going to throw our numbers out there. Zero percent chance, huh? All right, well, it's a mysterious paper. Uh, imitates the behaviors of some of the other paper slash items slash trinkets. Okay. There's a whole bunch of stuff. Your highest was two fifty four. How many hours do you have in this now? If you were to guess. Also, I'm so sorry that you've played as much as you have and you have to watch me. It must be so painful. It's all good. I have 0% chance at a devil room, so who cares? Tank it, rush him. Don't let him spawn more spiders. Steam says I have 1,546 hours. Oh my god. I have just under 300. But I'm so rusty that it all counts for nothing. Sick damage up, bro. I can't believe I fucked that last run up, dude. Dude, he loves Isaac 3000? Yeah, just a little. If she's just like hanging off my hip, yo. Stay strapped, gamers. Oh, but I can't see my health. I think that's a floor curse, actually. Did I miss money? Ah. Oh, there's the item room and I got me sale for key. Interesting, so blue champions give you uh flyers or or whatever. No. Oh no, it's it's just a no oh fuck. It's just a normal shitty one. He's in the top hat, right when it's like epic fetus or whatever the hell it's called. God. Alright, never mind, this run is a wash. This run is a fucking wash. I go on streaks of playing a lot, then stop playing for months. I don't know what this does. I don't, or I don't remember. But it's amazing. I go for the fucking bomb. Hit hit. I don't know what this is.
every room I have a random little horseman companion. I should I knew I should have done I should have done the item in the boss room first but I had a small chance at getting like bonus items and shit and I got greedy gamers and I paid the price uh oh ah, I reset the room What the fuck was that? What was that? Oh god. I'm gonna kill myself. I won't even give the enemies the satisfaction, dude. That was interesting, really. Hmm, gamers, 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 why? Why? Must I be so cursed? We got all our good RNG last night when we got Guppy on the first run. From then on, we were doomed. After this run, I'll use a different character. I don't know who. Maybe we'll try Eve again. She's always got random. Telekinesis. Act that causes all enemy tears to be held in place and then thrown back away from Isaac for a period of three seconds. Has a recharge time of about two seconds. Added as part of the Afterbirth Plus booster pack. That sounds really good against bosses like Hush. Well, maybe wait till the tears are out, you idiot. What's this guy's name? Like Steve? And you can get little Steve as a familiar? Steve! Steven. This is Steven Subdick. Without his makeup on. Little Steven. Yeah, which day you been? Going for it, gamers. So it doesn't work like that, okay. F. F's and chat, baby. 
Went from 100% to 1%. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Go get the item and then let's get out of here. How did that hit me, dude? I don't I don't get the hitboxes in this game anymore. I really don't. I, I'm just bad at this game, to be fair. Well, cool. Dope. <clears throat> Alright, well, at least we've beaten the first two floors in four minutes. That's cool, I guess. I should have kept the D6, by the way. This this telekinesis sucks. Or, again, it's probably going to be really good against... Bo oh, I could see it being really good against It Lives, actually. Hmm. Sick room, bro. I'm still so salty, Tootie. I'm still so salty. That, uh... That run where I really thought I was going to get hush. Hurt my feelings, man. More Borderlands 3 content November 21st. Yes, sir. Free update. I need to watch the Borderlands show. It's Greg Miller and Fran Marabella that host it, so I really gotta watch it. Data Boys. Two of Hearts. But uh, I think they speak about it on episode two. I got burnt out on Borderlands 3. Not me, man. It was one of those things where. I could have kept playing, but it was just like, there's nothing left to do. Because I don't care about, like, grinding for legendary gear and stuff. But to each zone. You're also obsessed with Outer Worlds, so, like, your opinion doesn't matter, bro. Got him! Fucking got him! Death. I am become death. I have not played Bloody Harvest yet. I wasted my fucking time with Outer Worlds. No, I haven't played it yet. I I, I do want to. Uh. Oh. Appropriate emote. Remember the Bible thumb up thing for a while? The best typo ever. And Beagle Eye. I take so much damage from I don't know what in this game. It's just like out of nowhere, I just have four uh, four hearts missing. You have a while, it's December 5th? Yeah, I know. It's just by now, I feel like nobody gives a shit anymore. I mean, to be fair, even when it came out, I didn't see anybody talking about it. Not that it's, like, a game changer. I was still going to play it, because who cares? But you know what I mean. It would have been nice if uh, there was more interest around it. I feel like streaming this is, is going to do better for me than streaming that anyways. I would, even on day one, I was saying that I was enjoying Outer Worlds, but I didn't know why, because there's nothing about the game I liked. I was like, I just makes no sense. Fuck you. But uh, yeah, the second day I was like falling asleep. I was like, this game sucks shit. Just not for me. There's literally nothing in that game that is for me.
Let's see show. Like, I, I, I definitely understand why people like it so much. But, uh... I just find it very boring to just... Talk. Talk with characters that I don't care about. Into... Deceptively small areas that are very boring to do literally just nothing of importance. I don't know. Even though it's a completely different style of game, Borderlands does everything it does infinitely better. No interest in the game, I was just curious what changed. Yeah, I mean, like, literally the first day, the whole time, I was just like, I don't know why I'm having a good time, because no, I don't like any of this. I would 1,000 times prefer to watch Isaac. Borderlands 3 is really good, but I literally played 13 hours a day for a week straight and just wanted to die. When DLC comes, I'll be back. That makes sense. Right now, it's a no for me, dog. Yeah, I can't wait to try the, the Bloody Harvest event, personally, and I'm um, looking forward to new, like, free content, and then the DLC, and... We'll see, I don't know how long I'll be streaming this. And then, um... I want to stream After Party. Isaac's a lot of fun to watch. I think so. Uh, Roguelites in general are just a lot of fun to watch. Even uh, even if the streamer is getting destroyed, the shit luck and lack of skill. Mm. We'll keep that. I feel like it's it's a long long term investment. The yeah, Northern Lion is is definitely a dope ass Isaac guy and Gungeon. But yeah, Isaac and Gungeon always make for good content. Ooh, a gold key. Gold key means I don't ever have to use a key this run. Every single door is unlocked to me now. After Party was alright for the bit that I played. I was kind of expecting a different game going on from what I read in the description. Okay. Interesting. the hell happened there? Why'd they all die? Hmm. Alright, boss is here. What's up, baby? Black poop deals damage to the room. I didn't even see the black poop. That makes sense. Come on. God, I hate spiders. Are we getting that house party stream? My PC wouldn't be able to run it. I heard the de de I heard the devil door. I'm an idiot. I didn't see it, and then I was like, wait a minute, I heard the sound. Idiot! Chat, I am like the worst today. You see my boy Frank? How's it going, dude? Staying away from the alcohol. How's it going, dude? I can't believe how badly I'm playing today. Last night I was like, killing it. Tonight I'm just a fucking mess, dude. Yeah, that was definitely a brown choke. God, in fucking, I'm an idiot. Yeesh. This telekinesis item is garbage. It's a fucking lie. It doesn't do anything.
Oh, so I still need to go to the item room. How's it going, dude? Okay, that's interesting. Oh, dude, get cucked, though. Get cucked, though. Got him. The irony of this floor being made easier because of the boss's item, just because I teleported to him to skip the floor. Dude, uh, it's just a little gamer secret. It's just a little pro strat, you know? Oh, let's go see what's at the stow. I seriously okay. The tower. That's the bombs, right? Boy, it sure is. Neat, neat, neat. Where the fuck is the item room at, dog? This is the worst run, dude. This is like actually terrible. I should just restart at this point, but you never know. All it takes is that one item to break it. Actually, that's not true. I need a hell of a lot more than one item right now. It, it literally, it doesn't, it doesn't stop anything. Pelicanesis is terrible. Notice a lot of the cards are tarot cards. It makes me happy. Hell yeah, they are. Oh boy. It's literally stopping all those bullets. No. You're a liar. Isn't it supposed to shoot them back? It does? No. You're a liar. You hear the cracking of a cold one? Yes, sir. Yes, sir, indeedly do. Crap, crack, crack, crap, 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 warm one open with the boys. I think. I think that's gonna be. I think that's going to be the gift sub alert. Oof, oof, oof. Mini fridge or you drink warm beer? Dude, I like it warm. I keep them in a microwave. No, it's not that warm. It's like, it's alright. I'm not like picky. I don't need it like insanely cold. That being said, because I knew that it was going to be hanging here for a little bit, I put it, I put them in the freezer before I went live. Uh. That blew that shit over to me. Nope. Damn it. This is in Canada, no need for a fridge. The whole country is a mini fridge. Exactly. My, I actually uh, have a skating rink as my floor, so it's fine. But uh, no, it's not like 
cold, but it's not warm, you know what I mean? But yeah, I'm not picky. And the more you drink, the less you care. Personally, at least. Like, when I do a fucked up Friday, I usually, uh... And so, well, sometimes I'll just, like, every time I, like, have a piss or something, I'll go get a couple. But I usually don't like, you know, getting out of my chair when I'm streaming, so I'll just, like, bring a case in here. You know what I mean? Okay, well, um, damage up and Ipecac. And now I just gotta be careful of my shots. So if you guys didn't notice, I not only have to worry about my range. I not only have explosive shots, but um I was I should have I should have not done that. I should have rolled that. Oh, especially my speed, that's not gonna be good for the sub 30 minutes. But yeah, I not only have explosive shots, but um I do 43.5 damage. Instead of like six damage. So uh yeah, gross. This is one of the best items in the game. But I forgot that like rocks and all that like right in front of your face are super easy to, to clip. I have to watch my shot so he walks into the first room and hits himself. Yeah, dog. What you think I am? Some kind of bitch, dog? How did I still have a 100% chance? Also, what's that? Aw, oh, fuck you, mom. Yahoo! That was dumb. That was not worth it at all. I'm an idiot, I just ruined the run. All I did was lose health. Hey, shit, you're dumb. The lovers just spawns like red hearts, right? Never took red heart. Oh, right, it was red. I didn't take red heart damage. Are you right, dog? See, chat, this is why I like you guys, because y'all you you smart with your brains and shit. <laughs> well. Ooh, confining myself. Old strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off. So you can't actually shoot diagonally in this game, by the way. One thing I just figured I'd mention. Uh, unlike Gungeon, you can only shoot the four uh, directions. And so, uh, in order to shoot diagonally, you have to go with your momentum. Very, very um, tricky to get used to at first. What the fuck? What is this one? What is his eyeball? Notice that the fact you can only hit cardinal directions is a turn off for me. It's very hard to go from Gungeon to Isaac rather than Isaac to Gungeon. I will admit. So there is that eye that just roll like goes around you. But this one looks different. This is Um it's a pretty bad item. Okay, what does it do? I'm trying to find it, but I can't see it in this massive list of shit. Oh, what was this like? What was this seven seals thing before? It gives you a random harbinger familiar that ch it changes every 10 seconds. Okay. Every 10 seconds. It's called Bloodshot Eye. I wish I would have went Isaac to Gungeon, vice versa. It makes me not want to grab Isaac. Yep. Ooh. Um, yeah, no, I, I, I feel you. It was also very bad, is he? I don't even see him. Oh, is it, it's that little dude? Right, it's not just the head. Ah, whatever. 
Should have rolled it again, but... You know what, at this point, if if I had the Chaos card and all those tiers, and I still lost, and then the game gives me Epic Hack, and I still lose, you know, at some point, you gotta think, you, you deserve the loss. You know what I mean? At some point, it's like, we did what we could, man. He's beyond salvation. Oh. I don't know when I got that, but okay. Well, Isaac to Gungeon. Oh, I got the 404 error. I don't remember what that does. I feel like the double moon is better, but I don't know what that does either. i uh, take this. Don't mind if I do. Uh... uh I went Isaac to Gungeon, but went back to Isaac quickly. Really? I didn't even know that you played um, Isaac. It's so funny how many people have actually played these games, and it's like. I have Brimstone... Ep Epic Hack? Yeah, this is one of my most played games. For sure. Um... Okay. This is the run if you don't fuck yourself up. No kidding. God, the charge time though. Ugh. What? What just happened? How that? How that happened? I was just changing my direction. And I shot. Oh, cause it randomly shoot. I'm not going to do the challenge room, it's dangerous. I think I'm going to ignore the brimstone, honestly. Never mind. Just kidding. Shoot! Really? <laughs> really? I guess I should check out the store. Don't even need to use a key, lol. Never mind, just kidding. Oh shit. Steam sale. So now for the rest of the run, everything in the store is half off. <laughs> wow. Wow, dude. How did that even happen? I, I honestly, I must admit, I do not like the combo of Ipecac and Brimstone. One or the other, please. Doesn't that give me... Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Oh, my God. God.
Fuck. How did I get an HP up? When the hell did that happen? Just realized I actually have no keys. Wow. Oh, we're only at 10 minutes. Damn boy. Don't remember what that does. All I know is I want some keys, please. What the hell is this? Coupon allows six weeks for delivery. Okay. Don't know what that did. But I'll take it. I'll take your entire stock. Oh my god, please. You fucking troll. Fucking troll. Two rooms in a row where I can't get the key. How dare you. What the hell is that thing? Brownie? Oh, is this... Isn't this like a boss in Meat Boy? Moldy bread. Somebody just give me a key. Use coupon in a shop to get one of the items for free. I figured as much. Full health. Dope. Two of clubs. Yes. Oh, we could have got a devil item without spending hearts. Oh, that's a good point, eh? I'm just gonna eat, drop those. What the fuck? Mutant spider quad shot. <gasps> Wait. <gasps> I just came so hard. Yeah, the tier rate is terrible, dude. I shoot once every four hours. But when I do, boy howdy. Something's wrong. I, well, I don't know why I... Okay. I can't shoot! <laughs> I can't shoot! Oh my god, dude, I'm mashing the button. There we go. Yes! When you see the charge thing go on and off, it's because I'm trying to shoot and I can't. Oh my god. At least I have all the time in the world. At least when my flies do enough damage that I don't have to actually shoot. Oh god. That's fucking funny. Honestly, this run is falling apart because of that fire raid and shit. <sighs> I'm so slow too. Oh. Nope. 
please. Please shoot. <laughs> can't do anything. I can't do anything. <laughs> oh, shit. Are you a pro or what? No, not at all. Oop. Get him. Uh, what the fuck? What the fuck? That can happen? Weird ass room. What the fuck? What is this little dude? It's like a coin head. Huh. Alright, where's his boss? I need to get out of here, man. <laughs> you can give me tear rate up. Oh god, here we go. God damn it. <laughs> so the the one time a year that I do lick off a shot, I'm OP as hell. The only thing is it takes me four hours to, to actually shoot. Come on, shoot, dude. Oh my god. So, um, I'll show you guys in a second here, if I could ever just, I just want to see if I could get some more black hearts. It's like the inverse of your sex life. <laughs> Takes too long to shoot? Yeah, dude. See, oh, it's, it's gone. But you saw how the, oh no, you see the left, how it opened up there? That's the boss rush. But I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to take any risks. Neo. Neo, Neo, Neo. We just have to, uh. Well. Air quotes just yet again. Have to beat. Is that my second gold key? That's the thing? Uh, yeah, I have to beat this floor and the next in under 12 minutes. to fight Hush, and then I have to, the problem is I have to kill Hush. That is where the problem lie. How? What does the sun do again? Fuck me. Gold key slash bomb is only one floor? Oh, really? Interesting. Uh, the sun, a card with three uses. A full heal deals 100 damage to all enemies in the current room and reveals the entire map slash, uh, for the current floor. Hmm. Probably best to just keep it for Monstro for the heal. Uh, Monstro. Hush. Probably the best card in the game besides Chaos. <laughs> I can't believe that I had the Chaos card and I died to it lives with like a, a fucking hit from death. God damn it, dude. I would have murdered. Well, no, but I would have at least got to Hush. Or no, I guess I could have. If I could have just gone through the first phase, I could have just one shot the second phase. Also, uh, rip me, I have no health. No fucking health, my guy. Uh-oh, 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 you're dead. 
Why? Why would you shoot there? Oi! <laughs> what a run, dude. I have 62 bombs. Let's actually get that brimstone shot, baby. Yeah! <laughs> this is fucking stupid. Does everything still cap it at 99? Items, I mean. What the fuck is that chest? Sorry, Guppy. You've been good to me, girl. But it's time for Tammy. <laughs> oh my god. Xbox is so perfect, dude. There's hope there's there's hope yet. There's hope yet. We might be able to continue it. We might be able to continue it. I don't know. <laughs> Did I break it that hard? <laughs> Did I break it that hard, dude? I didn't think it was that incredible. Trust me. That ain't nothing. Please tell me. Okay. Right, it restarts the room. Was it actually the same? Why did, why did I just piss away two hearts? I restart the room again and keep those hearts? Can I, I, I guess I could theoretically do that, right? Yeah, could I theoretically... Restart and keep those hearts, Tootie? What, what just hit me? Should we try, chat? Probably not unless he crashes. I might have just fucked the run. But to be fair, with two hits, being able to take two hits and um, being against eight lives and stuff, I would have killed myself. So if this if this doesn't work, which it probably won't, I probably just ruin the run. It's not really a loss. I would have died anyways. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Interesting. Okay, so that room I can't use that. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. <sighs> Take four. Chat, you guys down for some more Isaac tomorrow, by the way? Because I'm th I'm thinking about more Isaac tomorrow. We might just be an Isaac channel now, dude. 
No, but I think I think I'm gonna continue this <laughs> for a while. Also, but we we also have uh, after party we have Naruto. Um, I also want to do another poverty stream this weekend. If you missed the first poverty stream, basically, I got a bunch of Switch games. <laughs> <laughs> ranging from nine cents, I couldn't move. Ranging from nine cents to two dollars, and um, I'm sure they're going to be fantastic. And uh, yeah, I just have to plan the times. I have to like make a count of how many games. Like last time, I literally had to give each game fifteen minutes. Oh, what? Perfect. Yeah, last time I had to give each game 15 minutes to be able to finish everything, uh, or to be able to, like, do everything. But yeah. Poverty stream, so I need to start dropping biddies. No, that's not what it means. It means just, like, every all, all the games are dirt cheap. I just had the idea one day, like, I was looking through the, the Swish sales, and I was like, how, do, how did I get hit? I gotta do it, dude. Um, there was one time I was just looking through the Switch sales, and I was like, what the fuck, dude, there's games that are like two cents. And I was like, this is just, like, gross. And, um, yeah, so I just came up with the idea of doing a poverty stream. Also, 69 bombs. Was there a devil door? I didn't even notice. I didn't even notice. Hey, I could fly now. Well, oh yeah, you could choose between one of the two, right? So he picks up red hearts and has a chance to um, give you like soul hearts or black hearts or something. This is n not going to work, but wish me luck gamers. Here's where you fucking scales. And here's where we die. What hit me there? Yeah, I'm super, super dead. I cannot survive. I'll check chat in a second here. This is one of the hardest bosses in the game. The only reason I'm even alive and this far is because it looks like the first phase doesn't scale and uh, my build is disgusting. Okay, we're dead. Forgot about this. Literally can't do anything. Fuck, I was so close. There was a shop? Where was there a shop? I didn't see a shop.
Oh yeah, that that boss is. That's why. I remember before, two items was on either side, then a shop at the bottom. I didn't even know this. The shop. God damn it! Here, before we end the stream, I I remember the um. The item rooms and stuff, and the chests. I didn't want. I I didn't remember the shop. At least, at least we were close. I, I thought that was completely hopeless. I didn't even think I'd get there. But let's see, how many games do we have, chat, for the poverty stream? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. I guess we could say seven because that was a free game. Uh, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Although, a couple of these, like this game, I got for like a dollar or two, but it's a $20 game. Some of these, like, this is like a dollar instead of like five. But some of these games were actually like, th this one's actually a really great game. Th some of these were actually like two bucks instead of 20. Whereas like, uh, I think this one is like nine cents instead of five dollars or something. But Yeah. So, what would I just say a 15? Fuck. So even if I were to do like, what, 20 minutes a game, that's five hours? Seems about right. But um, the funny thing, when I installed all those, <laughs> let's see, my SD card took a little bit of a hit. <laughs> so I was like, I guess I should do it this weekend so I could just like uninstall them afterwards. <laughs> Fuck, dude. So yeah, we'll do that probably... Uh, I don't know if we'll do it Saturday or Sunday. Check the Discord. You want to see my reaction before I end the stream? <laughs> oh, well, Ouija board. <laughs> I like how the bottoms are... Wah and nah. That's awesome. Oi. Alright, well, we failed... But we got to hush, so that was a step into the right direction. Dude, I was this close, like, eight times. And I either fucked up or something went wrong. But we we almost did it. So tomorrow, we're, uh, I want to go Ouija board. Oh my god. Tomorrow, same thing. Isaac, we're going to try to kill hush and get the void. Let me kill this recording and find somebody to raid. <laughs>